Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is straight through and crossover patch keyboard. Both type A and type B are rollover keyboard and where they are used. Ethernet UTP patch keyboard, also known as patch cord, is a form of Ethernet UTP keyboard with RG45 connectors on both ends. A UTP patch keyboard can be used to connect two electronic devices, such as connecting between a computer and a network port, between a patch panel to a switch, or between a switch and a router. A UTP patch keyboard is relatively short. An Ethernet patch keyboard can be as short as 3 inches long and it can be 25 foot long. Most often, you will see 6 to 9 foot long patch keyboards in office and at home. A patch keyboard uses stranded UTP keyboard. One stranded wire is made of a bundle of tiny and thin wire strands. Stranded keyboard is not as a good a conductor, but it is more flexible and stands up to handling without breaking. Most often, you will see two types of patch keyboards in office or at home, type A and type B. These two types of patch keyboards are not different in terms of functions. The primary difference is UTP patch keyboard is terminated differently with RG45 connectors. A Type A straight through keyboard has a Type A RG45 connectors at both ends. Specifically, pin 1 on one end goes to pin 1 at the other end, and pin 2 to pin 2, pin 3 to pin 3, and so on. And that's why it's called straight through. A Type A crossover keyboard is different. One end is Type A connector and the other end is Type B connector. Specifically, green and orange color are swapped. So Type B straight through keyboard has Type B RG45 connectors at both ends. Type B crossover is actually the same as Type A crossover. Keep in mind, these two types of patch keyboards are not different in terms of connecting to network devices. You can use Type A patch keyboard or you can use Type B, but try not to use both types in your organization. Choose one type, then be consistent. If we want to connect a computer to a switch, or connect a router to router, or connect a switch to hub, what patch keyboards is to use? Straight through or crossover? First, let's talk about the OSI model and some common networking devices. A hub, a dumbest device, belongs to physical layer or layer 1. A switch is layer 2 device. Layer 3 networking devices are more intelligent and they can include computers we use, servers, and routers. Here's a simple rule of thumb. To connect two devices at different layers, we use straight through patch keyboard. To help you with remember this rule, you can think of it like this. When a top layer device talking to lower layer device, and when a boss is talking to her employees, they just have a direct street talk. On the other hand, to connect devices at the same layer, we use a crossover patch cable. We call it rollover because the pinouts on one end are reversed from the other as if the wire has been rolled over 
pin one to pin eight, pin two to pin seven, and so on. A rollover keyboard is also known as a used keyboard, or Cisco keyboard, or console keyboard. This keyboard is typically flat and light blue in color. We often use a rollover keyboard to connect a computer terminal to a router's console port to configure the router settings. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much. See you next time.